Oi, hoje tá solteiro? Eu se passar lá em casa pra te apresentar. Give me all of it right now, action. Música, there's just nothing like it. It's uniquely different, uniquely amazing. This was Rudy dream about most his life. Keep the energy up! Música is based on some version of my truth and my experience. It follows a young man, played by me, who tries to balance love, family. What are you doing? What are you doing? Relationships and culture, all through this unique synesthesia perspective. Are you hearing them? The sounds? Rudy. I've always wanted to tell a story that explores synesthesia, which is a condition I have had my entire life, where everyday regular sounds, my brain tends to turn them into rhythm. Is it torturous or do you um, enjoy it? Like sometimes it's nice and then um, other times it feels more like a curse. It's essentially the second lead character of the film. Every time I'm speaking with him, every time he's engaging with people, Rudy, mm -hmm. it's the other character in his ear. I'm here trying to plan our future and you can't even be bothered to do I don't know why I am this way. I get distracted by music every day. We've never seen a story be told where the world around us is making the music. You hear the bounce? Yes. Listen for more. I wanted to make the anti-musical musical where everything is being recorded live, everything's being performed live. Five, six, seven, eight. It's interwoven with the dialogue and the story. Is that score I'm hearing or is it happening in the scene? The sounds in the bus when the commuters are stomping and clapping, is, is that live or is it produced? You're not gonna know, but you're gonna feel the authenticity. Working with the rhythm performers has been so fascinating. Everybody's doing their own little special skill, and when you watch it all together, it's phenomenal. The brain behind the music was Jamie, Marivaldo, and myself. Marivaldo can take anything and turn it into an instrument. I was doing the stump for 25 years. Stop, 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 stop. The people that worked with me in stump, when they came in, I was like, I want you to feel the timing and the music, because it was a creation of a language. We had been conceiving the movie for two years before production, and it allowed us to prepare Prepare every movement on screen. That was awful. Oh, huh? Shane, a DP, really helped bring those more unconventional visual ideas and styles to life. It was like, how can we get the audience inside Rudy's mind and ears to really feel it? So you're sitting in the audience and you're like, oh, I get this synesthesia thing. That's incredible. You can hear it. No. But I feel you feeling it. We used GoPros. We could attach it to the wrists of the basketball players, hook it to knives and spice bottles. So the camera was moving as the sound was being produced. I just I sometimes have to get away from the noise. That noise is a part of you, bro. Another symptom of synesthesia is your relationship with color and how that correlates to sound, where Isabella's very warm, colorful Haley was cooler tones, a little more lifeless and shot very still and static. And Rudy is uh, just dark and black, but depending on who he's with, that changes over the course of the film. I think I see it. <laughs> it's beautiful. You're actually really experiencing synesthesia through the lens of Rudy. When you watch it all happen together, it's magical. The colors, the smells, the sounds, I love it. Music is the first language I've ever spoken. And now I got the opportunity to actualize what I've been visualizing slash experiencing for so long. And it was an absolute blast. Ah!